Now that the weather is getting colder, it doesn't mean that you've got to rule out the margins, you know. Obviously, when it goes really cold on some lakes, the fish do tend to just move out that little bit further from the bank. But don't forget, you know, lots of the venues like this one today, you can almost have the maximum depth, literally a meter or two meters out in front of you. So whilst you might not be going right into the grass, right into the shallow margins, there are slopes and things and bottom of slopes. They're areas that you can target right the way through winter and on some venues, that can be where you're gonna get a run of fish, especially later on in the session. Now, it's not all about pole fishing. I've got a really nice, super simple setup here. This is the same setup that I've been fishing tight to that other bank. I've been fishing down the far slope. I can even target the open water with a setup like this, but this is this exact same setup that we can use to target the margin as well. You can't get much simpler than that, can you? I've got a lovely 3000, it's an XR3000 reel, okay, and that's loaded simply with six pound horizon main line, no fancy shock leaders. And if you want an all round setup, then one of the best things you can do is go for some sort of a bomb setup. This is basically, as the word suggests, it's a bomb rod, nine foot, and because it's so short, it enables me to tackle lots of different areas of the swim, coupled with a nice compact reel. It's a really nice setup, you know. It, this is, it's got a one ounce tip in it, six pound main line right the way through to a simple method feeder, all right? It's a free running rig. This is our quick change system, which means I can change that feeder to a normal method feeder. I can change the size of the feeder. I can even, if I wish, like we do in winter, change to a bomb as well okay that's a really nice flexible system to use and this is the same setup that I've used everywhere in the swim I've got a six mil pellet hard banded pellet on there all right just on a ready tied hook length these are the hook lengths we'll show you in a moment but all I'm doing is loading this with two mil pellets so I've got some two mil pellets there put a layer in first and then we can pop the hook in next and then just cap that off and that is it. And we can drop that down the margin nice and discreetly without causing any disturbance. However, the key to margin fishing, and one of the biggest things with margin fishing is, it's usually better to set this line up to prime it before you go on it. And today I'm doing, been doing that with four mil pellets. Simple as that. All I can do is loose, been loose feeding those down this right hand margin, just where I can comfortably feed it. And while I'm fishing other areas of the swim, I can build this line up where hopefully for the second half of the session, usually, you can just drop your feed away. Hopefully there's gonna be one or two fish waiting because they've obviously been feeding there without any disturbance, okay? So when you put your feeder in, I can just underarm it there and you wanna try and do it discreetly because if there are any fish there, the last thing you wanna do is obviously spook them. Now, one of the key things to this is your rod position. You wanna have a nice angle in your rod. Bites at such short range, can be violent, you know? It's a self-hooking way of fishing. So that means that this rig is actually gonna hook the fish for you. That's what the method feeder is all about. And when you're at such short range, there's very little stretch in your line because you're at such short range and the, the bites can just be quite violent, all right? So I've tried to have a nice angle. Don't point your rod at the feeder. You see, we've had an indication there straight away and that's just stopped. So I'm just gonna slacken that off a little bit. So we're getting indications that there's one or two there. Ideally, we don't want line bites. You know, you just want a nice clean bite, but line bites are at least telling us that there's one or two fish there. So have a nice angle in your rod so that when it does go, the power of the fish isn't gonna be pulling against your reel. It's gonna be pulling against the rod. When a fish takes this, or if a fish takes it, the rod is gonna bend and that's gonna absorb the power of the fish. That is exactly what uh, your rod is designed for. And that way, all the pressure is not going to be on your hook length. The pressure is going to be on the rod. The next thing, there we go. That one's on. The next thing is the drag. Always have your drag set loose so that if it is a big, powerful fish that's going to power off out of the peg, the drag can let line out and let that fish run. All right, because that is obviously going to take pressure off your rod as well. And with the drag set, the other thing you need to do is make sure you've got a nice feeder rest, which I'll show you in a moment when we land this fish. The beauty about this nine foot rod as well is that when this fish comes up, I'm not gonna bully this fish, there's no point. 
it's not a match but look how close that's come up to me I can scoop it dead easy you know beautiful with a nine foot rod that's soft obviously with the bend in the rod the fish is actually coming up it's about six feet out seven feet out and that's where you can comfortably just scoop it with your landing net and when you're catching fish like that they're a beautiful stamp of fish to catch all right and obviously as with all margins that can quite often be the place where you catch your biggest fish as well and again that's the reason why you need to have that drag set the important thing about when you're fishing at such short range is from anyone's point of view is just to make sure that your rod is safe okay so you need a feeder rest like that one that's got a v in it because it's going to hold the rod if you've got a nice angle the position of that in relation to where your, your feeder is when the rod goes it's not going to be dragging your rod in okay it's so so important you know i know lots of people that have lost rods that way when you're fishing at such short range but the great thing with margin fishing like this is that whilst you're fishing elsewhere in your swim hopefully catching fish elsewhere you can constantly build this line up so that when you go on it the idea is to have some fish there that have been feeding confidently while you've been fishing elsewhere so that when you're dropping it just like what you've just seen first drop on it you might get a couple of liners which is telling you fish there but then we've had a fish first cast and if you get your timing right usually fish come down the margins later on in the session you'll have primed that line for a couple of hours and when you go on it instead of just catching one then hopefully you're gonna have a run of fish and that could finish off your session so even in the depths of winter just find out where that slightly deeper water is even if it's close to the bank if you've got a bit of depth there if there's a bit of color in it that will help but don't forget that even in winter fish will come down these margins and if you can target them with the same setup that you've been using everywhere around the swim well you can't get much more flexible than that so hopefully you found these little tips a little bit helpful and hopefully they're going to help you catch a few more fish this winter at short range and as you saw with that bite it can be really exciting